Assalamu alaikum and hi. So we are going to look at question 8 from tutorial chapter 4. What we have here is a 4 kg block A on a rough 30 degree inclined plate is connected to a freely hanging 1 kg block B by a massless cable passing over the frictionless pulley as shown in figure 4.12. Alright, so before we proceed with the next sentence, eh, kita fahamkan dulu apa kedudukan objek kita. So, kita ada 4 kg objek of block A on rough 30 degree inclined plane. So, this is that rough 30 degree yang inclined at 30 degree itulah. Huh? So, this is that rough inclined plane itu. So, objek A is sitting on this rough inclined plane. Dia kata connected to a freely hanging 1 kg object. So, dia connected to a freely hanging so, ini adalah tali kita attach to object B yang tengah freely hanging with mass 1 kg. Alright. When the object are released from rest. Okay, so dia kata, dia release the object from rest. So, initially they were at rest 0. Mereka velocity dia. Object A slides down the inclined plane. So, mula-mula let's say kita assume kita tahan object A ni. Kita pegang. Okay, bila kita pegang, tidak bergerak initial velocity kosong and you release them. So, bila awak angkat, apa yang akan jadi adalah automatically A ini akan mula turun sebab dia berada pada kedudukan yang condong. Permukaan dia condong, so it's going to slide down. So, bila objek A slide down, since it is attached to objek B, objek B pun akan turun ke bawah. Okay? Slide down with a frictional force of 6 Newton. So, dia cakap, since this is a rough plane, dia ada frictional force sebanyak 6 Newton. Calculate the acceleration of the object and the tension in the Kabel, alright. Sebelum nak tengok soalan ni, kita fahamkan dulu pergerakan pada A menyebabkan pergerakan pada B. As you were holding A, awak tahan A, apa jadi adalah tiada pergerakan. A tak bergerak. Bila A tak bergerak, B pun tak bergerak. Okay, so dua-dua ini tak ada acceleration, tak ada velocity. Okay, bila awak release A ni, awak angkat tangan, apa jadi adalah A mula jatuh. Bila A mula jatuh, what happen? It leads to B to fall as well. Bila A jatuh, leads to B fall. So, motion of one object leads to the motion of another object. Therefore, kita cakap mereka adalah satu sistem yang sama. Alright, when they are in the same system, they are going to experience the same acceleration. So, acceleration dia minta dekat soalan ni adalah satu je acceleration iaitu acceleration A ke bawah sini akan sama dengan acceleration B ke bawah sini. Which is the same acceleration. So, dia nak acceleration of the system basically. Okay, next dia minta tension in the cable. Tension adalah tali yang tengah mengabung dua-dua A dengan B ni. A and B are connected across the same string. Okay, so tension yang kita tengah cakap adalah tension yang sama dekat sini. Okay, before we look further, let us first start with identifying the forces that we have here. So, kita fokus pada objek A dulu. Objek A obviously akan ada weight. Okay, kita akan ada weight ke bawah W. This is my W here. Then I'm going to have normal force which is perpendicular to the surface. And then, kita dia cakap, it's a rough surface. Dia, dia cakap, yes, dia cakap rough 30 inclined plane. And dia kata frictional force sebanyak 6 Newton. Since the object is moving in this direction, A dia ke bawah sini. Maka frictional force kita in the opposite direction. So, this is my frictional force of 6 Newton. And then, it is connected to a string. So, kita akan ada... Tensional force ni. So, these are the forces acting on object A. Alright. And then next, let us look at object B pula. Object B, tak ada normal force sebab tak ada surface. Maka tak ada frictional force juga. And then, dia akan ada weight. Yes, obviously kena ada weight. WB. Connected to a string, akan ada tension. No any external forces here. Okay, so kita dah identify forces. So, saya nak lukis free body diagram. Saya suka lukis free body diagram sebab senang untuk saya nak menjawab soalan. So, I'm going to establish Cartesian plane saya di mana my surface here is my x-axis. So, incline. Dua-dua incline dekat sini. Okay, so this is my object. So, saya akan ada weight ke bawah. My weight is downwards. Ini adalah untuk objek A eh. FBD of objek a. Okay, as you can see, given here, theta dekat sini adalah 30. Since this is a perfect triangle here, so 
30 theta sini akan sama dengan 30 dekat sini. So, I know the W touching Y exist adalah 30. And then I have my tension here. And then I have my friction here. And then I have my normal force here. Alright, these are the forces along free body diagram A. And then the acceleration is moving in this direction. Lepas tu, finally, I'm going to draw my free body diagram for object B. So, since they're just hanging, so X dengan Y saya tak berubah macam biasa. This is X. This is Y. I'm going to have tension TB and also weight W. B. So, since we are looking for acceleration, we know that this whole process ada acceleration, maka summation F kita kena sama dengan MA dekat sini. Okay, so we are going to focus on object A dulu. Summation F is equals to MA sebab kita ada X component dan juga Y component here. We have forces along both the components, so kita kena split summation. FY is equals to MA, summation Fx is equals to Max. So as you can see, your object, your object A here is undergoing motion along x axis. Pergerakan dia adalah along x axis. Dia tengah slide ke bawah sini with an acceleration of A. Along Y, objek kita tidak berubah. Maka along Y, dia akan jadi zero. No acceleration along Y. So zero. Okay. So I'm going to start with, uh, tak kisah nak guna mana-mana pun. Tapi sebab acceleration ada dekat sini, we're going to start with this one lah. So, summation Fx is equals to Max. So, let us focus on the forces along X. Kita ada T, A, kita ada friction. And as you can see, your W here is in between X dan Y. Maka kita kena resolve dia. So, you're going to experience Wx dan juga Wy. So, kita ada 3 forces along x here. So, we are going to sum all this. So, bila nak tambah, T ini berada pada paksi negatif. So, negatif tension A tolak, eh, sorry, campur dengan negatif W along x campur dengan frictional force. Sebab frictional force is the only force yang ke kanan. Sama dengan mass times acceleration. As you can see, your acceleration here is in the negative direction. Dia ke kiri. Bila ke kiri, Kena letak negatif A. Sebab dia tengah bergerak ke kiri di sini. Okay, so T is an unknown. So, kita akan biar dia sebagai unknown. Plus with minus teruslah. Minus W akan jadi MG. Sebab dia along X component. X component theta sentuh Y. So, ambil sin 30. Plus dengan friction dia dah bagi nilai sebanyak. 6 Newton sama dengan the mass of object A adalah 4 kg negative 4 A. Okay. So, mass ni I'm going to substitute dengan 6. G ni sebagai 9.81. And then I can press my calculator. Eh, 6 pula. Sorry. Mass dia adalah um, 4. 4. 4 times 9.81. And then sine... 30, kita dapat 19.62. So, we have negative TA minus 19.62 plus 6 equals to negative 4. So, 19. Kita akan end up with negative TA minus 13.62 sama dengan negative 4A. Okay. So, as you can see, kita ada dua unknown dekat sini. So, kita tak dapat cari our acceleration. Okay. So, apa yang kita akan buat adalah kita akan cari for another equation in order to find the A. Sebab kita ada dua unknown. Bila ada dua unknown, perlu ada dua equation. Let this be our first equation. Alright. Equation kedua kamu boleh ambil summation Fy sama dengan kosong ataupun boleh ambil objek B kamu. Because your objek B, sorry, your objek, yes, objek B is also moving with a certain acceleration downwards A. So, acceleration yang sama. Okay, therefore, dia akan ada summation F sama dengan MA juga dekat sini. Okay, so nak pilih yang ini atau yang ini, we look, we are looking for acceleration. Sebab kita nak cari acceleration, so I'm going to skip this one sebab dalam equation ini, dia sama dengan kosong, bukan sama dengan MA. So, tak membantu, let us take object B because object B and object A both has the same 
acceleration. Untuk objek A, acceleration dia along x axis. Untuk objek B, acceleration dia di tengah turun ke bawah along y axis. Therefore, dia akan jadi summation Fy sama dengan M A along Y. Sebab dia tengah turun ke bawah. Along Y komponen kita ada dua sahaja forces. Dan memang kita ada dua force ini sahaja. Along X tak ada forces pun. So we don't bother to write summation along X dekat sini. Summation Fy kita akan jadi T B minus. Okay tak apalah. Plus minus W B. Okay. Summation maksudnya kita kena tambah. Minus ni adalah sebab direction dia. Okay. Equals to mass Kalau kamu tengok acceleration kamu ke bawah Minus A dekat sini Ini adalah mass of object B Oleh sebab tak nak confuse Better tulis subscript dia Supaya you don't get confused Okay so T B minus W B dekat sini akan jadi mass of B Darat dengan Gravity dia sama dengan negative M A Mass of B here Alright so tension B kita tak tahu Minus dengan mass B adalah 1 kilo 9.81 Sama dengan negatif 1A So we'll end up with TB Minus 9.81 Sama dengan negatif A Alright As you can see kita ada dua unknown juga dekat sini TB dan juga acceleration Alright So kita cuba tengok Mereka mempunyai acceleration yang sama So this both This A's are the same A's So you can actually relate this two untuk cari A. However, look at the TB dan juga TA. Kita ada lagi unknown yang tidak sama dekat sini. However, since the object, macam saya explain tadi awal-awal tadi bila kita tengah cakap pasal soalan minta tension, kita dah cakap since they are connected across the same string here, connected across the same string, tension yang objek A alami adalah sama dengan tension yang objek B alami. Therefore, we can make a conclusion TA is actually equals to TB is equals to So I'm going to rewrite my equation 1 such that negative T minus 13.62 is equals to negative 4A. Equation 2 saya akan jadi T minus 9.81 equals to negative A here. Alright. Okay. So basically T akan sama dengan 9.81 minus A. Saya bawa this one to the right. Okay. Now. I'm going to substitute this 3, sub 3 into 1. Okay, so negative tempat T ni saya akan substitute. Ini minus 13.62 sama dengan negative 4 A. So I will have 9.81 plus A minus 13.62 negative 4 A. So what we have yang A ni. Bawa ke sini, positif A bawa ke kiri, sorry bawa ke kanan dia jadi Negatif 4A minus A becomes negatif 5A Ini pula negatif 9.81 minus 13.62 Terdapat negatif 23.43 Divide 5, you will get your acceleration such that Negatif akan cancel 4.67 6769 4.69 ms negatif 2 here so ini adalah acceleration kita untuk soalan 8 4.69 4.69 ok next kita nak cari tension ok since kita punya equation 3 adalah t is equals to something so we're going to substitute a dalam equation 3 T is equals to 9.81 minus acceleration kita adalah 4.69. Tension menjadi 5.12. Okay. 